<laughs> Somebody called me a Tory today, fam. Someone called well, me a yeah, Tory. Yeah. Someone called me a Tory on Facebook Live because I I critiqued um, a speech that um, Corbyn made, bro. So just because I don't agree with everything that fucking Jezza says, man's a Tory now. You, you see what I mean? Well, <laughs> bro, you know when I don't even agree with everything my own mother says, but man's supposed to agree with everything that but fucking Corbyn says. This is the thing that's going on, right, in, in, in our society. Because um, it was like I was saying earlier, right? Yeah. If, 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 you're, if you're somewhat a reasonable person, yeah. um, my belief is that there's certain views that you're going to have that traditionally are right wing. Yeah. And there's certain views that you're going to have that are traditionally left wing um, in regards to different matters. Chris Rock has a joke where he's talking about I'm left wing on some issues, I'm right wing on some issues. He's talking That's about like, prostitution and guns. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, <laughs> he's left wing on one, right wing on the yeah. other. Now, the problem is now, is like, if I don't agree with everything you say and I'm from the left, yeah. I, I, I somehow brand you a Tory, right? But that's and it. Then, and then if I'm, if I'm on the right wing and then I don't like something you say, oh, you're a communist. But right? that's it. Yeah. But that's why I went on Facebook Live and um, when um, Corbyn done that speech the other day about um, the single market thing, I was just like, listen, I'm not a prick. I know... From, from watching and listening, yeah? Because with politics, I tend to... I listen to... I listen to what they don't say more than what they do say because most of the time when they're talking, they're talking absolute bullshit anyway. So I was just like, boom, I'm going to listen to what he's not saying. Everyone, okay. everyone that kind of knows anything about politics knows that Corbyn, yeah, has always been a fucking Euro skeptic. Yeah. But, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So when my man's talking... All of a sudden, in favour of certain things, I'm like, this guy's talking out his arsehole, bro. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? I said straight up here, yeah, this guy is saying this to throw the cat amongst the pigeons in the Tory party and just get these guys fighting and squabbling amongst themselves. But because I knew what I thought, I opened the forum up and I was like, you know what, guys? I've gone on live, I've said, Corbyn's had his speech today. What do you guys think? So I just threw it out there. Yeah, I said, yeah, what do you guys yeah. think? Do you think he meant it? People coming out saying, of course he meant it, it's Jeremy Corbyn, like, he's such a nice guy. <laughs> it's Jeremy Corbyn. I'm he's, like, bro, I said, can do no wrong. Bro, yeah. I'm like, JC don't stand for Jesus Christ, you know, or you think yeah, he does this yeah, for yeah, free, yeah. cuz? Yeah, of course. Man's getting paid. It's cool to be I a nice no, guy. I think nobody is above criticism, but I, bro. Think, I think nowadays people have forgotten how to have a healthy debate. It's um, a cult following, bro, and the thing is, I'm, well, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm scared of any sort of culture in which... A, pol a politician's name starts to get chanted everywhere. It's horrible all the time because I know what it can what it can lead to, and and the problem is it can lead to it can lead to, to all sorts of different things, right? <laughs> but the problem is as well when you look at the future, right? If you're if you're building a cult like status around one man, um, the problem you're going to get in the future is you're not going to be able to replace this person. Yep, and that's going to bring back. That's going to bring back even more problems for the Labour Party when they try to eventually replace Jeremy Corbyn because it's like if they built him up to such a, a pedestal, yeah. when it comes time to actually finding a replacement and finding his successor, they're going to be lost for, for yeah. No one, no one can replace him. Do you know what I mean? They're going to have to find Jesus, bro. <laughs> like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. But the way man were talking to me, they were like, "Of course he meant it." Like X, Y, Z. Why would he lie? And why would he lie? He's, listen, he's a human being. At the end of the day, these men are doing a job. Like as much as he's a good guy and he's a nice guy, I'm not questioning his integrity. I'm yeah. saying I'm calling bullshit on this. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This one thing that doesn't no, mean I mean that I don't like the again, man. Again, again though, like, have you ever met somebody where you agree with every no single body thing on they this say planet in life? Like you don't agree with your wife, you don't agree with your your like your your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your colleagues on every single. Thing. But I'm supposed your to. Your best agree. friend could vote a completely different way to you, but they're still your best friend. Like there's yep. so many different viewpoints in the world, and no person has an exact same belief system as, as the other person. So I don't know. I find that whole thing weird as well. Bro, man called me a Tory fan. You understand what I'm saying? I'm pissing myself laughing. I'm just like, why? Because I didn't agree that Jeremy Corbyn wasn't playing yeah. politics, man. Yeah, because yeah, he yeah. was. These man, he, don't well, work, he doesn't work for free, blood. He's on 80 bags. It's yeah. all right to be a good guy when you're on 80 grand. It's easy to be a it's, good it's guy. It's so easy to be a decent, decent citizen. You yeah. know them ones there, bro? Man, well, forget, he's still a middle-class white man at the end of the day. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. He, you know what I mean? As much yes, as he's sir. trying yeah. to help people and that, bro, he's still a middle class white man. I'm allowed to question some of the shit that he says. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least just one thing. Give me I think, one. I think, I think questioning anything anybody does is healthy. Bro, of course it yeah, is. It's, it's, it's called it's, critical thinking. Do you know what I mean? Not a lot of people, they don't, they don't, that department of the brain doesn't light up for these people. Do you know no, what I'm saying? No, of course not. And that's, you know what the problem with that is? It, it pisses off. For instance, look at the United States right now. There's a lot of um, Republicans that don't like Donald Trump. But because they hate the lefty so much, Donald Trump can do no wrong. Yeah. Anything just to piss them off. Do you know what I mean? Because they're probably thinking, you know what, this lefty prick won't shut up. This will <laughs> shut him up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, of course, Do you know course. what I'm saying? And that's it's the, the problem. It's lesser of two evils for them. But that's, that's, but that's all it is. They're like, you know what, we don't like Donald Trump, but we don't like this loud twat. Do you know what I mean? So you know what? Let's give him another I four think, years. I think, I think what we get as well is, I mean, it, you, you often see it in places like uh, in the States where they've stopped people, or even here, where, they, where they've stopped people from certain groups or certain people from talking yeah. at, at universities. Right. Um, for me, that's quite dangerous. Um, it, is, it is, I mean, I don't think anybody should be allowed to spout racist abuse or whatever. Yeah. But... I also think a much more powerful tool is to make these guys look stupid in a debate. Yeah, let them stand in front of each other yeah, exactly. and have it out. And have a battle of the wits with them. And then if you can disprove everything this person's saying, that will do more for your cause than it would do just shutting them down. That's it. It's, it's like when you were in school and you had a cussing match with a bully. Yep. And then once you, once you cussed him down, <laughs> it's a stop. That's people it. People are like, oh, okay. Like or you tried know. to take it to the next level and you just had to fight. <laughs> you know what I was there, like celebrity deathmatch. They could bring that back. The views expressed by Ransom Bands are of Ransom Bands 11 and do not represent... That's, that is <laughs> fine, bro. Do you know what I mean? I can live with everything I, I say. Know. You know what I was there. Right. But it's just, it's an absolute joke because the thing is, they display the same level of ignorance and um, oh. the same ignorant and radical behaviour as the people that they hate so much. Yeah. It's just on the opposite side of the spectrum. Absolutely, yeah. They're both as jarring as each other. Yeah, yeah, Do you know course, what I'm saying? The man's calling me a Tory because I disagreed with one thing a man said, you know. Because you don't have purple hair. In, in, a whole, <laughs> in a whole two years, my man disagreed with one thing and I'm a Tory all of a sudden. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These men are... It's unbelievable. And well, that's why, imagine... It's a the true... effect though. Like, you're not... It's like, you don't believe me, you're therefore that, that... But that that's thing. it. And the thing is, the true... Imagine, if that's pissed me off, imagine how much the real Tories don't like these men. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Do you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, I think every human being... But it, like, on, a, on a micro level, you, you experienced it when you were younger, when you, people were like, oh, who do you like, Biggie or Tupac? And you were like, Tupac, and you were like, oh! Yeah, and I'm, like, I'm a biggie you think guy. Biggie shit, like I was so. always a biggie guy. It's just like the Ronaldo and Messi blood. Like, yeah, yeah. why can't man just appreciate that they, they, they don't play oh, anything yeah. alike? Exactly. They don't play in the same position. They, they've got nothing in common other than the fact that they're both elite level footballers. Why can't we just appreciate them both? But that, but that, that's that's indicative of society as well. When you've got a football debate and people can't even appreciate both of them. Yeah. Because of the, the the way the way it's turned out, it's, it's like, like you team like, Ronaldo, you team Messi. Like yeah, yeah, I can't. Why can't I? Can't, I can't, yeah, I can't have different views and appreciate different things. It's ridiculous. But that's the problem. Like I think the average human being is a centrist. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the thing is the fact well, that's that become a dirty word now. And the thing is, they're there's no option. With neoliberals. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh my gosh, you're a Blairite and. You're, you're causing the downfall of, of mankind. These men are making up all these people. words and you're still poor, so who cares, innit? <laughs> <laughs> you know the ones there? Like, that's the way I see it. It's like, even when I look at my fan base, yeah, it's so diverse, yeah, but I've got like a big white male following, yeah, and a lot, the, the majority of my following don't look like me. And that opened my eyes. Well, to, that would be worrying if they did. That opened, my, <laughs> that opened my eyes to let me know that actually, mostly, everyone just wants the same thing. Do you know what I'm I saying? Think what people, I, think, I think the average person is, is like I was saying earlier, would, would, would have certain beliefs about some subject that would traditionally be left and the right, right? Um, and most people are reasonable if you lay the facts out to them. However, it benefits certain people yeah. for, and certain organisations for people to be polarised because it means that they can push, yeah, their like Farage. Them, yeah, push their agenda onto them and then they could... But it helps them get rich. And You've got a man like Farage money. coming out saying, yeah, fuck the EU, let's leave the EU. Actually, let's and stay. And pension. Yeah, actually, let's stay because I've got an EU pension. It's getting a bit techy now. He's one of the first people to actually talk about having a second referendum after well, he... Well, he's denying it now. 
Yeah, he's full of shit, but he, de- <laughs> he denied the the, um, the NHS money as well, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's just <laughs> it's one of them things you can't expect honesty from him. Do you know what I'm saying? Of course not. It is it's absolutely it's an absolute shambles, bro. I just feel like everyone should be able to cast cast an opinion on whatever whoever they like. It doesn't. Well, where do you see this going? Like, where do you where do you see see this going in the future? Like, bro, it's going to make things worse. Because what we've got now is we're in a stage where you've got people like Milo Yiannopoulos on one side, and then you've got like a whole bunch of left wing yeah. fanatics that that and and to their to their detriment, the left wing have fragmented themselves into so many little subgroups where yeah. it's like. I represent this and I represent that and I represent that, but there isn't one united voice. There isn't. Where do you see the but That's why the right will continue to win, bro. Because well, they're they're... also the rights believe in guns. Yeah, so that's it. The rights right believe in guns, so if yeah, all else fails, fighting, right if all else fails, yeah, that them. man are just going to spray it's up the thing, fam. It's man. Oh. Shoot up the thing. Do you know what I mean? Because the thing is, there is no united. There's nothing united anyway, and... Like, as you said, yeah, you see, you see what I like. I'm quite a, a scientific person in a sense, so I like facts, innit? Okay. Because with... That, that's... Spooky. No, but I like facts, bro. Because a lot of people... Because the thing is with opinions, who wins an opinion? No one wins, bro. It's who shouts the loudest, innit? Whereas with a well, fact, yeah. a fact is a fact. And the thing is, in, in politics, because there's no right answer, men are going to be arguing forever. Do you know what I mean? There's always, it's always going to be left v right... X, Y, Z, and then you've got people that are afraid to actually speak about their, about their actual true feelings, which is how we got Brexit. Like, if you were actually listening to people, you wouldn't have been surprised by the verdict. No, I wasn't surprised. Do you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I yeah. said before, but I said, we're going to get Brexit, and we're going to get Boris Trump. Johnson as the PM, and we're going to yeah. get Donald Trump. That's what yeah. I said. Yeah. And Boris would have got it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, and I predicted Boris and Trump, bro, because I just knew, I knew the state of the world that we're in right now. Like, but the thing is, a lot of people don't realise that they're poor for a specific reason, but it's easier to just blame immigrants. Well, of course. You know, Do you know what I'm saying? Because that's the narrative. And again, when you realise that these immigrants, do you know what I mean, want exactly what you want, bruv. Like, it's not, it's not you versus your neighbour, bruv. Because if it's your neighbour, they're broke like you, bruv. Those are not the people you need to be looking at. Of course. Well, it's, it's, it's interesting that the people that, that tend to, to be most tolerant of people don't necessarily interact with, with people. Of course they don't, bruv. You've got man so down in Cornwall who's scared of brown people, people they've never seen. Kind yeah. Of. But I mean, I, I also I also find it funny that you get like a lot of middle class people that never that particularly don't you know grow up around like um, people of other ethnic minorities and whatever, and they're like, oh no, we should let everybody in. However, <laughs> you know, the only the, the the only contact that they come come uh, the only way they come into contact with somebody of color is either their nanny or their own pair. <laughs> well, there you yeah, go. That's what I'm saying. So then, for them, it's for them that that's okay. It's like, it's like the whole racist argument that was coming up. Well, who's going to work in Pratt? You know I mean? It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, like, what, what do you mean? Like, that's not the only reason people should be allowed in this country. But that's the funny thing, though, because we had um, that, that feminism, the white feminism debate, and it's like a lot of these women, these working women that wanted to go to work, they were able to go and work because they had coloured people looking after their fucking kids. You yeah. know them ones there? Absolutely. So it's a bit mad, isn't it? Like, it's a bit mad how... How things kind of swing in roundabouts and that. Do you know what I mean? It's just it's just overly convenient that a lot of people like to overlook certain things in certain situations. Now, you know what I mean? We've got shit like KFC running out of chicken. And you know what I'm saying? I know that's probably because their supplier probably just fucking left the EU, man. Or left oh, the wow. UK and said, you know what? Fuck it. It's probably an immigrant. And they said, you know what? I'm going home, bruv. And fuck the KFC order. You know what I was doing? Oh, two shots for me. Nah, you can have that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can have that. I need some space, cuz. You know? <laughs> I need some space to work. But I can't see my boot. 